Russia, where natural gas engines are considered an alternative to conventional fuel engines, electric vehicles are just beginning to win the right to exist. Today I will talk about one of these electric vehicles, with real serial prospects, developed by a Russian company that has actually been producing electric vehicles for several years. This company is called Contradia. Today it is one of the most well-known manufacturers of electric vehicles in Russia. Starting in 2011 with the import of Chinese electric golf carts, in 2015 Contradia began producing several of its own models and today, at a small plant located in the city of Dmitrov near Moscow, it produces about two dozen light passenger and cargo electric vehicles every month for use in closed territories, in sanatoriums, rest houses, cottage settlements, in park and ecological zones. Now the line of these electric vehicles has expanded due to a promising communal vehicle, it has been called Apis. This electric car is very interesting and unusual. Why and why was Apis developed? It was designed at the request of the same customers who buy serial electric vehicles from Concordia. Such customers needed a quiet, virtually silent harvester that can work on narrow footpaths with the ability to use the same set of attachments that are used for MTZ tractors that are very common in Russia, as well as providing the ability to externally connect various handheld electric tools. As a result, APIS appeared. A light and compact electric vehicle with a length of only 3.3 meters and a width of less than 1.5 meters, which in the summer season is equipped with brush equipment with an irrigation system, and in winter with a small front dozer blade and a trailer for spreading reagents for road icing. In addition, the package includes a 15 meter watering hose, made up as quickly, because it was based on a ready-made platform on which golf carts are produced. Therefore, the APIS suspension is completely independent using components from the Russian serial Neva passenger car. But the drive is made not only on the rear, but also on the front wheels. Moreover, on each of the shafts going to them there is an additional reduction gear. And another gearbox with a gear ratio of 1 to 8 is made in a single unit with an electric motor. The power of this engine is only 10 kilowatts, but thanks to the gearboxes in the transmission, a very high torque is obtained on the wheels, which ensures the towing of a trailer weighing 20 tons. That is, Apis can easily drag a truck in tow. A lithium-ion battery with an electric capacity of 22 kilowatts is enough for 120 kilometers or 8 hours of operation in brush sweeping mode. In 2020, when the cost of delivering components from China increased by eight times, Contradia set a course for the maximum replacement of imported parts from manufactured electric cars, and it has achieved significant success. Today about 80% of their components are manufactured in Russia. The engines are produced by the Privodna Technica company from Moscow. They immediately go in a single unit with a single stage reduction gear. The same company supplies the controllers. Batteries, from the company Energy from the Lipetsk region. In the suspension of the wheels elements from serial loader cars are used, but the levers for them are manufactured by Concordia itself. Just as it manufactures its own steering and electric parking brakes, it welds its own frames, as well as steel cab frames and aluminum frame bodies for vans. Plastic elements of the exterior and interior of electric vehicles are supplied by contractors who vacuum form them from ABS plastic according to samples developed by Contradia specialists. How is Apis recharged? Today, its design implements a charger from a single phase or from a three phase network, that is, from a conventional 220 volt network or from a 380 volt network used at industrial facilities. The battery charge time from a single phase, that is, from a household network, is 8 hours. In fact, this is a night charge. And when using a three-phase network, it will take less than 4 hours to fully replenish the charge of the batteries. It is important to note that one of the most important advantages of APIS is that it does not use hydraulic hitches. All of them, without exception, were electrically driven. This is what made it possible to increase the operating time of the machine on a single charge and reduce its cost. As you know, hydraulic drive systems are very expensive, and most importantly, they consume a lot of electricity. The latter circumstance requires developers to complete a hydrificated electric car with additional batteries, which account for a significant share of the cost. 
Based on the results of field tests in one of the utilities, several important changes will be made to the design and layout of the machine. For example, a water tank with a capacity of 800 liters, which is now made removable and located in the upper part of the cargo compartment, will be made fixed and lowered much lower. This will lower the center of gravity, which means it will improve the stability and controllability of the electric vehicle. In addition, this tank can also be used for anti-icing agents due to the use of a pump resistant to their effects. Interestingly, the cabin was originally a double cabin, then, at the request of one of the customers, it was made single, and now the next customer is asking to return the second, that is, the passenger seat, which is what will be done. In addition, instead of classic instruments, a 10-inch tablet will appear in the cockpit, which will also be used to control attachments, and a front power takeoff will also be added to equip Apis with a frontal snow thrower. The most important question for the fate of Apis is, how much does it cost? In Russia, the price of an electric car is indicated in rubles, but I will quote it in dollars at the current exchange rate. So, in the current version of Apis costs about $58,000. This is about $17,000 less than the price of similar foreign-made cars with an internal combustion engine. If we consider foreign electrical analogues, then the difference is even more significant. For example, the same communal electric car of one of the well-known foreign brands with a hydraulic drive of working equipment, equipped with a vacuum cleaner, was offered in Russia last year for as much as $400,000. Of course, in the version with a vacuum cleaner and Apis it will cost noticeably more, including because you have to install a second battery pack. But anyway, for the customer it will come out cheaper. The selling price of the car in this form will increase to a maximum of $135,000, which is three times less. If we also take into account the fact that deliveries to the country of foreign analogues, both diesel and electric, have now noticeably decreased, while their prices, on the contrary, have increased, that most Russian utility vehicles of this class are saturated to the limit with now inaccessible imported components, and therefore their serial production is very complicated, then the Apis communal electric vehicle, taking into account all its listed advantages, has very impressive prospects on the Russian market. And in conclusion, I cannot but say that Apis is not the only project aimed at the future in the arsenal of the Concordia company. It has recently started production of a promising model of electric trucks. They are based on a new, larger and lifting platform. And in another workshop of her plant, work is underway on another promising electric car, and also on a new platform. It will be a passenger and freight electric car, the design, layout and characteristics of which will allow it to be freely used not only in closed areas, but also on public roads. However, these electrical novelties are a topic for a separate discussion.